Hey guys, Mr. Antoon here. We're going to learn how to wash out an image and make it your background on any slide you use in Google Docs or PowerPoint. This is kind of the example of what a, a PowerPoint should, I mean, a slide should look like for me. A nice title, uh, text, an image here on the right side. If I move this image, you can see this nice background image I have of, of the America. And this is how a balance that you will want in your slide. So I'm going to teach you how to make this background. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to, to your Google Docs and your Google Drive, whatever it may be called. And you can see this is my drive with all my folders that I have. And I'm simply going to click, click Create and then down to Presentation. From here, it's going to give me, looking like a PowerPoint, but it's going to give me a theme choice. Don't use this if you can, but I'm trying to teach you something different, so just hit Cancel. And then you're going to, right away, you're going to name this the way I want you to name it. So it's always your last name. It's always your period, and it's the title of what you're doing. In this case, it's Docs of Liberty. And then I hit OK. And then you can see up here it's named that way. Uh, then you're going to go back to your Google Drive right away. It'll always be there. You can see it right here. And I'm going to show you how to put it in Mr. Antoon's Dropbox. You will see this under Shared with me. You'll see my folders. So you'll click on Dropbox, and then you're simply going to take Antoon, and, and you look like I can drag it around left click and drag it and I'm going to drop it right in Docs of Liberty and it disappears from here but if I open up this folder notice it's right there and so anytime that you're at home you can now edit this and it tells you when it's been last modified but be careful once there's a deadline if it's after the deadline you will lose some points so I'm going to go back to click on it and it'll open it up again I'm going to now go and share it with Mr. Antoon to make sure he has it no matter what just click on, type in my last name and click on the one down here. And just leave that, but uncheck notify people. Okay? Share and save. Just go ahead and hit OK and then done. And there it is. Now, I need to find an image on the Declaration of Independence. And I found a really a good one here, which is a wide, a portrait, kind of a widescreen. I'm going to right click and go to copy, or I can save it well, either way. Let's just copy it for now. I'm going to go back to PowerPoint. Open a new slide, which is Control and M together. I don't need all the stuff here, so I'm just going to paste it. Control V, or you can right click and hit Paste. Okay? Either way, you can do that. So what I'm going to do here, let's pretend this is our image and we want to make this a background image. I'm going to drag it to the top, and I'm going to only pull from the corners, and I'm going to pull until it's even with the slide, which is almost perfect. In this case, you can't see the other text here, I mean the other image. So I want to right click on this image, go down to Format Picture, and find where it says uh, Picture Color, and then Recolor. There's another way of doing this as well, but I'm going to show you. You can see it's now washed out. Uh, the other way of doing it, here's the other image here. Um, I can also you know, gauge where it's going to be. I can click on Format once the picture is selected. Click on Format, I can go to Color here, and then I can find whatever color I want here. So I've just washed it out twice, okay? But I'm just going to leave it down here to show you what a slide would look like. So with this, I'm going to now copy and paste this. So right-click, hit Copy, go back to your, your, now you're going back to Google Docs, and here it is. And I'm going to right-click here, and I'm going to hit Paste. And it says Install the Google Drive app, which is fine. Just say Yes to it and say Add, and it will now install it for you, adding to Chrome down here on the bottom. might take you a minute, depending on your speed at home. And then again, you have to answer this question after reinstalling. Uh, reload the page. And now I'm going to try it again. I'm hitting Paste. It's saying Creating Images. And it should show up. There it is. So now I've washed out my image. I can now drag it to the back. I can, I can correct it a little bit. It's not going to distort it too much. And now I simply have a beautiful background image. You can do background images for all different slides. But now if I want to go in there and get a nice word art, I can go back to my PowerPoint. I've already created this. You can do word art, cool text, flaming text. And you copy and paste this as well. To copy is Control C. To, to paste is Control V. And now I'm having, I'm, I'm having the, the workings of a nice presentation starting off. And that's how you wash out 
using PowerPoint into Google Docs.